Do you have a sweet tooth, but don't have time to bake a cake or even cookies for that matter? Well, let me tell you, I have the perfect solution for this problem. It's fast, it's easy, it's Rocky Road Fudge. Let's get cooking. So the first step, get a medium saucepan full of water on the stove on a high heat. And we're gonna let that baby come to a boil. Now once that water is boiling, we're gonna place a bowl just big enough to fit on top of the pot. This creates a double boiler, which is gonna be our safest way to melt our chocolate. And by chocolate, I mean two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips right into that bowl, followed by a quarter cup or a half a stick of butter. And now what you're looking at is me emptying one can or 14 ounces of sweetened and condensed milk right into that little mixing bowl. And uh, don't be afraid to shake it, all right? And now the next step is just to mix it and let everything melt together, forming one chocolate goodness fusion, if that's the right way to describe that. And yes, it's gonna look a little weird while everything melts and kind of emulsifies together, but eventually you do get a nice thick product at the end. And then into the mixing bowl goes two cups of peanuts, followed by two cups of mini marshmallows. Yes, I broke the mini marshmallows out again, all right? Judge me. And now my most favorite step, mix it all together, making it all thick with four C's. Nice. All right, not three, not two, four C's. Or in other words, stir until well combined. So now into a little loaf pan that has been lined with parchment paper, we're going to dump in our mixture. And then using your spoon or spatula, we're gonna evenly spread it out so it's a nice inch thickness all the way around. That's right, spread it out one inch all the way around. And then into the refrigerator for 45 minutes until set. A few moments later. So now if you made it this far during the video, comment down below what you did during your 45 minute rest break. And while you write that comment, I'm gonna start cutting this fudge because I'm feeling a little hungry and my cavities are screaming at me. Now there's no proper way that you have to cut this up. Cut them into nice sized pieces that will fit your liking, but preferably bite sized so you can just pop them in your mouth on the go, like pop, like gum, you know, that gum that comes in that little container that you can keep in your car, but then like in the sun it gets really hot and like melts together and then it's really sticky on your hands and I'm just rambling at this point. Cut the fudge, all right? See, I told you it was going to be easy, and I'm sure you just happened to believe the fat guy talking to you on the internet on some random YouTube video. Now, I promise you that you are going to love this recipe. Now, these will be good for up to two weeks as long as you keep them inside an airtight container in the refrigerator. But feel free to pop them whenever you need a chocolate dose of goodness. Now, I do want to thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you on the next episode of Fat Boy Cooking. Hi, Stash. Thanks for thanks for joining the the shot. He's a good boy. I love this little man. <laughs>